What's up everyone? My name is Horia Peruzio and today I want to talk to you about crypto investing and why you should invest in crypto. Um, so within the last couple weeks, I've been reading Rich Dad Poor Dad, um, which is a really great personal finance book. Um, I highly recommend it. So let me show you kind of what it looks at. Um, it's, yeah, it's got 61,000 reviews. It's definitely rate. It's supposed to be the number one personal finance book of all time. It's kind of inspired me to create this video and to start getting deeper into personal finance. I think the main premise of the book is that in school, you learn a specific profession. So for me, that was coding. For others, maybe that is um, marketing, um, finance, maybe uh, med, you know, med, medicine, law, all these things. Um, but nobody's really taught how to invest their money and how to make their money work for them. Um, and I think with last year with Robinhood and the whole like influx of new accounts, um, the 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 stimulus checks that the U.S. government printed out, um, you know, people had extra money and they started looking into investing. And I think we've seen that kind of investing boom happen. And that's also definitely hit the crypto markets. Um, so basically, like one of the biggest points I got from the book is to always um, keep up your like financial literacy and always like kind of learn about finance and investing and how to invest your money. Um, and I think alongside that is to take risks. Um, you know, you, you can get returns if you just put the money in the S&P 500 for sure. You're going to get great safe returns. But um, if you do have hopes of, of getting higher returns in, you know, 12, 13 percent a year, which is pretty solid. Um, but if you have hopes of getting higher returns, you know, you are probably going to have to look into more uh, riskier assets. So that's why I'm going to focus on crypto. I do think that's where crypto comes in and is able to provide you a higher return. I think Bitcoin is up 110% on the year. Um, and if you look consistently Bitcoin over the last, I think, eight to nine years, it's kind of gone up like about 100%, um, more, more than that. Um, but anyways, um, so that's kind of the inspiration for the behind the video. I'm going to talk about a few things. The first, I'll talk about like the new Bitcoin ETF that came out and what the implications are for that. I'll talk about um, 6529, which is like a pretty big Twitter, uh, crypto Twitter user that just uh, recently put out a pretty interesting thread that I read this morning. Um, and then I'll talk about Kevin O'Leary and kind of his progression into crypto and why I think it's a good investment. Um, again, just to kind of put this disclaimer, uh, this isn't financial advice. This is just mindset, how I think about things. And I just hope you can learn from this and that's it, you know, use this as knowledge. It's not advice or I'm not saying do anything. I'm just saying this is what I'm doing. So my plan, um, I started investing about 2017 once I, I got my first job um, and I kind of went little by little, started putting S&P 500, started doing individual stocks, um, things like that. And I would say the majority of my portfolio is individual stocks, um, high growth stocks, tech stocks, um, and about 7% now, um, maybe even more now is into crypto and I'm mostly in Ethereum. I do have maybe like 20% Bitcoin, but I'd say like 70% is in Ethereum currently. Again, just my own portfolio. Um, but my goal kind of for the next year, um, starting from now is to put all my earnings, savings and excess money into crypto. Um, so that's kind of what I, um, I plan to do. And you, you may be thinking, oh, it's, but you, you know, Bitcoin just hit a new all time high. Aren't you like too late? Um, and, you know, I have an investing group chat with my buddies from home and, and, and I'm like, you know, hey, why aren't you doing crypto? And, and my buddy said, oh, I think we're too late. Um, and that kind of got me thinking. I'm like, really? Like, I really don't think so. Um, I, like that kind of made me even more bullish and, and like in my own mind, like sometimes you need to hear the the opposite view to kind of reaffirm your own uh, beliefs. And that's kind of what happened when my buddy's like, no, 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 I think we're too late. Um, and I do not think so. And I'll kind of outline why in this video. Okay, so first of all, um, about two to three days ago, I think on Tuesday, um, the Bitcoin ETF came out and it's a futures ETF. So it's not purely linked to the price of Bitcoin, but like it's close enough. Um, so that's, I think, a huge step because now it's listed on uh, NYSE more and more institutional investors will have access to it. Um, yeah, so basically, um, you know, obviously there's this new ticker, BITO. Uh, we can look it up. So here's kind of how it did. You know, it's only been around five days. Of course, it went down a little bit. So this is great for 
institutional investors because slowly and slowly as these things got, as the ETFs and exchange traded funds and things like that get regulated more and more, there's an easier way to get exposed to Bitcoin in the crypto market for institutional players. Um, I think that's going to be huge because there's going to be more money going into it and it'll um, add even more legitimacy to the system. Now, let's just look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin price um, since inception, right? So it started at about 145, it looks like, went up to 10K, went back down, and it really didn't do much from, you know, 2014 till 2018, right? Like, not much. Another um, kind of lull of about four years, it, from 2018 to 2021, it really didn't do that much. It just kind of stayed around 20K. Then it blasted off again up to 60K, and now we're back around 60K. Um, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, that that's a ridiculous amount of gain for, um, you know, from 145 to 60,000. Um, let's see what X that is. That's a 413X. Um, so that's pretty solid. So just kind of, you know, obviously it's way newer than, than the S&P 500. S&P 500 has been around for hundreds of years. Obviously, Bitcoin is nowhere near as um, respected, legitimized, trusted. Um, it's only been around for eight years. Of course, it can't be as trusted as something that's been around for 200 years. Um, so anyways, that's kind of the price of Bitcoin. Um, now let's take a look at this Twitter user that I think is pretty interesting. He said, like the main kind of point that stuck with me and you can go ahead and read his thread, um, but this is this is interesting. He said, this sounds dramatic, but the trend line on this topic is bad. China is already gone and the US and EU are creeping in the wrong direction, but we need to act now before it comes irreversible. And he thinks that we don't want to sleep sleep into a society controlled by a handful of people with God view of big data machine learning, right? That's kind of what's happening in China right now. Um, and I think this crypto community is kind of trying to stand up and fight that. Obviously, China's just banned Bitcoin completely. There's no more miners in China, which is pretty ridiculous because they, up until um, a few months ago when China banned Bitcoin, they had the highest population of miners, which are actually enabling the Bitcoin uh, blockchain to work. Um, and now they're completely out. Like there's no more Chinese miners, which is very mind blowing. Um, Okay, now let's talk a little bit about Kevin O'Leary. So, so what's been really interesting for me, and I think if you t if you can take one thing from this video, is that whether you like it or not, Bitcoin and crypto is here to stay. So, one case study I'll look at is Kevin O'Leary. So, about th like three to four years ago, he said um, Bitcoin is garbage, and of course, he comes from Wall Street, so the regulator side of things, and of course. Bitcoin up to this point was only mostly used for uh, dark web transactions. Um, so at this point, um, Kevin um, doesn't like it, obviously, can't regulate it. You can't really invest in it for him because he has so much money. Um, he has to have it regulated. So eventually, like as I start listening to the Pomp podcast more and more, he gets co Pomp gets Kevin O'Leary, and I highly recommend listening to the Pomp podcast. I put that in the description, but it's it's gotten me a lot of great knowledge for the, for like the crypto space. But um, he basically started started getting more and more bullish on it. So he had about three percent of his portfolio in it, and then now if we look at like Kevin's like latest headline. Uh, my crypto exposure is greater than gold for the first time ever. So that's kind of an awesome thing to see, just like an older older in institutional investor now putting at least 7% of his allocation into crypto. I'm probably gonna put in more. I currently have more than that, but um, of my personal portfolio in that, but um, it's interesting to see that he thinks that crypto is never going to go away. Um, one other thing to like kind of think about is also that Bitcoin is, um, there's a limited supply of it. So that'll automatically help um, with inflation in a way. Um, so you can see here like um, 
this article from about almost a year ago, 35% of all US dollars in existence have been printed in the last 10 months, especially with the stimulus checks and what's been happening during COVID. I think Bitcoin is a great way to have a hedge against a financial collapse, um, similar to what we saw in 2008 um, with, with the real estate market crashing. So just something to think in mind, I'm definitely gonna start putting a lot of more money into crypto start kind of like following these people on Twitter. Um, 6529 is really good. Plan B is really good. Uh, let me show you plan B. I think the main point again is that crypto is gonna be around. You could either ignore it or start learning about it and be involved in this, in this community and in this uh, revolution, if you will. I hope you found this useful and, and let me know if you have any specific topics that you'd like me to cover. I'm gonna try to focus more on crypto in this channel, at least some of, of of the next few videos, so.